pain management is a very specialized sub specialty of neuroanesthesia and neurospine surgeons and the pain has always been the most important factor for the patient they can compromise with other things but pain is something which brings you to the hospital and the right diagnosis the right approach towards pain management is very necessary otherwise you end up taking medicines without reason without much efficacy and this is something that affects your quality of life and approach has to be multimodality in pain it cannot be a single frame that we do only this that will not work that's why a comprehensive team and a plan has to be there for every patient usually the management starts with finding the cause for the pain and treating the cause of the pain if that is done most of the time the pain will go away if there is a spine problem which requires a surgery and you are just trying to manage the pain that's a wrong approach because you have to treat the cause first but then there are cases where there is no apparent cause or all treatments have been done but they have failed like something called failed back syndrome in which you do spine surgery over and over again but the symptoms don't just go away for that there has to be multimodality approach it can be special nerve blocks joint blocks pain blocks if they work but they are temporary solutions sometimes they work very well if a candidate is suitable for that that should be the approach if that does not work you can go towards thinking about non invasive stimulation of the cord to get pain relief you can do physiotherapy and stimulations to counter the pain you feel or perceive the pain when it reaches the brain the signal for the pain if it's we are talking about legs if the source is back and the legs then you will feel the pain when the signal reaches the brain so the concept and the idea behind spinal cord stimulation for pain is disturbing the pain signal midway before it reaches the brain so that you don't perceive the pain for that's very important that we are sure there's no treatable cause for the pain left and pain is the only symptom which is there and no other treatment is required so in this case we place a small wire through a small hole in the skin over the spinal cord surface which is called epidural surface and then we stimulate the spinal cord so what it does is it disturb the signal of the electric signal relaying from the legs to the brain and patient does not perceive the pain in this kind of treatment we have a trial phase where you just place a wire for a few days and leave it with no source of battery inside so that you can experience it's helping you or not in what activities you are feeling good pain relief or is it not helping you once we are sure it's going to help the patient then we implant the pacemaker with small surgery sometimes people uh, who are diffuse pain and which is not amenable to say spinal cord stimulation then we have like cancer patients where the quality of life is only hampered by pain we do something called intrathecal drug implantation systems or pumps it can be a baclofen pump if the person is spastic they can be case in spastic cerebral palsy or brain injury or spine injury or uh, hereditary spastic paraparesis or it can be severe pain like in cancer patient or any other cause of pain which is not getting treated So we use morphine pump in those cases. Why this is better option than you know using medicine? Because efficacy of these pump delivery systems is very high. The medicine is delivered by a small puff, like a perfume spray, into the spinal cord directly. So it does not enter your bloodstream. It doesn't go to your liver, kidney, or rest of the body. It doesn't harm you. It doesn't make you sleepy. You don't need to pop in hundred pills a day. The efficacy is higher. The safety profile is much more better. and it takes a small surgery in the but the main thing is that the doctor's treating should be sure this is the option required